Good morning, folks, as we watch a gorgeous plasma filament grow to exceed the magnetism containing it. Know that we've got a ton of weather, volcanoes, and top science news coming right here. We begin analyzing the 193 angstrom view of ionized iron in the atmosphere of our star. Coronal holes revealed nicely with the southern opening turning through center longitudes. The bright spot on the left side is indeed a sunspot group. This one formed and really just came together in the last few hours. Monitoring it will be key today. Taking a moment with neutral iron to zoom in on those tiny spots, little guys coming into view. Quick look at the solar wind. Far right side, top in orange. Folks, while single spikes to thousands of protons are usually cosmic ray errors, a multi-spike signature with effects on other telemetry is not. A denser packet of shocks encountered our planet last night. Coronal holes fractured on the disk leaves each one spewing its own stream and makes for multiple density shocks you can see here in the magnetosphere model, which also showed up on the induction globally. Not major, but still considerable magnetic effects from these very weak little solar wind streams. Volcanoes are up next. Uluwan erupted in Papua New Guinea, but the more impressive capture comes from the Costa Rican government, Poas Volcano, entering a new eruptive phase there. Let's go to India where the end of the monsoon season has felt like the whole thing rolled into a few weeks. Inundation of entire towns, including key facilities. Some people are doing what they can to get out already. Scotland up next. More variable terrain here leaves little room for standing floods, but instead causes the torrents to cascade and tear across the landscape. Equally dangerous, if not more so. And of course, folks, one of the top weather stories is asinine snow and cold records smashed to pieces in the Rockies and even up north of the border into British Columbia. What's happening is simple and it requires a look at the jet streams. Hopefully you can see here we are over the northwestern world, should be able to pick out the US, Canada, Greenland, etc. Now this is not a strong flat stream but a weak wavy one. And when they wave, they can stretch, bunch, bend and block and that's what's happening here as frigid polar air is diving to lower latitudes, spreading its cheer down to the surface. Taking a look at the pressure scenario and its drive on the wind also gives you a good idea for why the east is baking in tropical-like heat while the Rockies feel arctic chill. It's because the air indeed is coming up to the east from the tropics. Let's go to the science news and a key paper on solar energetic particle bursts is investigating the pre-CME release dynamics to discover why the protons are able to escape the shock and be accelerated to extreme speeds. They are guessing that these magnetic explosions of plasma are not one and done events, but have varying energy components and much ongoing before the large cloud of material erupts into space. And speaking of space, ALMA, ESO, and Hubble are teaming up on this one, the cosmic jellyfish. It's Hubble for the background, Muse on VLT for the purple hydrogen gas return, and ALMA picking up the orange carbon monoxide. Gorgeous feature in the heavens here up next as we dive down into the infrared wavelengths with Spitzer investigating shocks and bubbles. They are not only mapping the large scale structures, but seem to be loving these little red arc shocks which even seem to be sometimes wrapped around other shock and bubble features. Very cool. Last but not least, we are coming to active galactic nuclei, what they call supermassive black holes. And the study out of Yale concludes that indeed, their masses are not tied to the mass of their host galaxy, but to the star formation rates in that host. So now would be the perfect time to remind everyone that according to NASA, SOFIA, ALMA, and the National Labs at Berkeley, Caltech, and Stanford, it is not gravity and chaos ruling those star formation regions, it's magnetic fields and plasma turbulence. Meaning, what actually controls the central nucleus of the galaxy? That's right. We greatly appreciate your support. If you are new here, go to our channel page or the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org. We'll catch you up real fast. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.